So, so what, uh, yeah. what, what is expected of an author in marketing their book? What do you expect of your authors? Well, I'll tell, um, I'll tell, I'll say what I, I tell most of my authors or all my authors when we're talking about book publicity. And that is that um, the most successful authors think of themselves as the stage manager of their book's publicity. So in other words, they're working with their publisher. They're not waiting for their publisher to do it all, right? They have their own plans and strategies that they're going to put into effect. So, um, you know, a couple of basic things that most publishers will do for a book is make sure that it's out to all the trade reviews, okay? So you don't need to be sending your book to Kirkus. Um, they're gonna make sure that um, the book is on sale on time, on its, on its publishing date, and that the covers look right where they are. Again, mistakes happen and we fix them. Um, you know, they're gonna make sure that the book hopefully has exposure at conferences, and maybe they're gonna send the author to conferences. So these are the things that the, that the uh, publisher is going to do. But in terms of like, um, you know, maybe the author wants to create some swag, or the author is reaching out to local booksellers in their area, or starts to reach out to local schools. Maybe the author has contacts that can help publicize the book that the publisher doesn't necessarily know about. So the first thing I say to authors, like be the stage manager of your own publicity, like have your own plan and then work with your publisher to bring your plan and their plan together. The other thing I say is let your publisher know about every single thing you do for publicity. And you can wait until the end of the week and then write it all in one email, but I want them to know and I want you to copy me on it. And the reason is the more you do, the more they can do for you. So you might say to yourself, oh, I'm going to do this event. You know, I set it up, the publisher, you know, I'm sure they're happy if I do it, but, but I'm not gonna mention it to my, to my publicist. But then if you go and mention that to your publicist and your publicist says, oh, we do a ton of events for them. Like here, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get you, you know, a uh, hundred extra copies, you know, available in that bookstore. Or I'm gonna make sure they have the special stand for your book in that bookstore or, um, you know, oh, we're gonna set it up so you get paid for that event. Or maybe we can get you uh, cover your, you know, flights to that conference, et cetera. So the more you do, the more they can do for you. Um, so it's really important to let them know. So that's the other piece of advice I give to writers is like, make sure that you're communicating your plans to your publisher um, because sometimes writers forget that that's a really uh, important communic communicative step as well. Is there ever a situation in which it wouldn't be advantageous to let your publisher know what you're planning to do for promotion? I can't imagine, I mean, I'd have to think about it, but I can't imagine why that would be a problem because why would you wanna do something that if your publisher knew about it, that would be a bad thing. Like I would question that that logic. Um, I don't know. I feel like you, I, you could come out with an example, and I'm just not thinking clearly about it. But I, you know, I, I you really you know your publisher is your teammate, as is your agent. You know what I mean? I think if there's a conflict, you go to your agent first. Um, but beyond that, like we're all pulling in the same direction again, ninety percent of the time. So. Um, you want your team to know what you're up to because they're they're you know working for you in that way, um, and they can be supportive. 